Well, Two on Your Side is, of course, the station that holds people in power accountable. And tonight, that includes questions about an internal report into a former Erie County Sheriff's deputy's assault on a Buffalo Bills tailgater. Good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. Mary Alice is off tonight. That report, which had been missing, is out now. But what's raising questions tonight is what's actually in it, and more specifically, what's not in it. Two on Your Side's Leanne Stuck looked into that for us. It's been three weeks since the attorney for the man assaulted by Erie County Sheriff's Deputy Kenneth Actel during a Bills tailgate in 2017 found out that the internal report on what happened was missing. We found out that the document was missing based on a filing by the attorney that represents the county and the sheriffs. And obviously when we learned that a, a document in this day and age of that significance was missing, obviously we found that extremely surprising and very peculiar. Now that it's been found, we can see what the Erie County Sheriff's Professional Standards Division reported when it cleared Actel of any wrongdoing. The two-page review says deputies looked at a two-second video, along with pictures and a longer video taken after the arrest. And then an FBI special agent in charge and Erie County's defensive tactics instructor found Actel's use of force reasonable. He resigned shortly after he was found guilty and the review was closed. But Glazer, who represents 25-year-old Nicholas Balcido in a lawsuit against Erie County over the incident, points out that the report mentions nothing about body camera footage of the assault. It seemed to me that the most relevant piece of information to be considered would be the body cam video. I would think that the jurors in Mr. Actel's criminal trial thought that that was the most relevant piece of information. And I would think that that formed the basis for his convictions to a great extent. And this was never even looked at in the course of this, quote, investigation, unquote, as far as I can read from this document. For some perspective, we went to former state trooper and local attorney John Elmore. Do you believe that this document is standard to other internal review documents? Every police department has a different standard uh, and procedures for uh, internal affairs and their investigations. Um, so they vary from police department to police department. Uh, this is very thin. Uh, this is very inadequate. Two on your side reached out to the Erie County Sheriff's Office for comment. A spokesperson said he could not speak about the details of the investigation. Leon Stock, Channel 2 News.